Hello minions. So I started playing some domination today and the intent was to capture clips to show how domination in Cold War is kind of a bullshit game mode and it's not very fun. Um, but I found that it wasn't lending itself very well to clips so I figured instead I would do a live gameplay of a game of domination. I'm not gonna cherry pick this. I'm just turning it on whatever happens. I'm gonna post and okay, just talk the about objective. the things uh -oh. that suck <laughs> and that are okay as we go. As I get dropped into a game that's already in progress, it's a good good start. This is not one of the things I would generally yeah, condemn Marcus. the game for. This doesn't seem to happen a ton. I'll be on right out. But oh, the snipers in Domination are ridiculous. People don't seem to really have to be that close to you with a sniper rifle for you to be instantly deleted by them. It's a bit irritating. I mean, they do the same thing in all the Slayer modes too, but it's just not as big a deal as when they can literally set up in Domination and just one-shot you. Even sometimes, like, they're not even reticles near you, and it's just like, you're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Uh, of course, one of the biggest weaknesses of Domination always is getting on a shitty team. Like, here we got... There's a reason you see so many Pellingtons in Domination. Um, you don't see them that often in Free For All. It's because you can't really get away with sitting back and just doing these one-hit murders when you actually have to deal with players moving around you. So, for instance, there's a guy almost certainly sitting right here. Just because those are the places where you can snipe from. Like, their whole team is set up with snipers. So I definitely wouldn't say, like, every game... And I don't... That pile of shit looks like a dude. That's why I shot it. Um, I wouldn't say it's, like, an every game kind of thing. But it is. It is extremely common. And I just find that, in general, I can't necessarily put my finger on, like, the one thing that ruins domination. But, uh... Wow. What? Oh, okay. Alright. There's just a lot that contributes to why. I think it's mainly just the overall mixture of bad gameplay elements in Cold War that combine to make it a shitty experience. Like, you can't just say domination sucks because of hit detection, or it sucks because of this weapon, or it sucks because of this perk. Or it sucks because... Wow, because a shotgun won't kill a guy at close range. Okay. Like, there's, there's just a large combination of things. And what I find is that overall, Cold War is just kind of garbage. <laughs> I mean, the overall balance and the way it plays. But Free For All is the most tolerable of the game modes because it mitigates a whole lot of the bullshit that compounds... Like, what the fuck? Hostile counter spy plane established above. This motherfucker. Like, seriously, like, his whole team is set up with fucking snipers. And then he's just fucking running around with a goddamn knife. Look at this. He can lock down an entire half of the map just with a fucking knife. Because he's running around like a D-bag. This is the kind of shit that I just... That, I, I don't know, it didn't seem to happen as much in Modern Warfare. I mean, you'd have guys running around with a knife every once in a while. You'd have guys that were s good snipers, okay. but... The Pellington is just fucking easy mode. Switching side. And I would say that that might be him, like, aimbotting right there. But literally, when you stand down that line of sight, you know exactly where people are going to stand. Like, there's, there's two spots where people's heads are just always going to be. You don't have to hack to do that. You just point and delete. One shot, one kill, ba 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 ba. So I'm gonna try. I was hoping, I've had, like I said, I was gonna try and capture clips today um, for the bullshit. And a couple of the games actually went okay. And uh, then I was like, okay, well maybe I'll just capture where I talk about strategies for domination and uh, kind of walk people through some of that. But. It's just so inconsistent. Like, one game it feels like, oh, this, you know, this is okay. It's not too bad. You get on a decent team, and 
You're not getting fucking raped repeatedly, and then the next game, it's just awful. Like, where are you? Is he contesting it from above? Oh, it's the knife guy. Oh, good, it's the knife guy. Hiding in a shadow. Like, like why? I mean, that sniper up there. Uh, one of the biggest things that sucks about the snipers in this game is that you can literally take four or five assault rifle bullets to the face while you're sniping, and it does not impact your aim. Like, you stay locked on, and so you can literally get a jump on a sniper, shoot him first, shoot him multiple times, and his aim will just lock onto you and murder you. Are you fucking kidding me with this guy? I was not anticipating to run into one dude who was just out running around with a knife, but here we are. It's this kind of stuff that makes me just not want to come back to the game. I heard your fucking tomahawk come in. Where you at, bro? Good God. Is it just because he's moving so fast that he's so hard to hit? Alright. Try and actually defend B here. No, it's knifey goo. I even knew he was there and pre-fired him and still lost that fight. I mean, you can't... You can't make this shit up, folks. <laughs> Like, no, he's there, free fire, and he still wins. Instant kill. One of the things I didn't like about Modern Warfare, there was a lot of one-hit kill weapons. Um, but that said, it felt like sometimes you got beat by that weapon, but you didn't get beat by the game. Are you, are you serious? Like, look at this! Look at this! I can't even, I can't even. Like, why? Why? The worst thing is that it's an effective tactic. He is effectively shutting down half of our team with a knife. He's holding down B by himself without even using a gun. I mean, I... I don't even... I just... Well, alright. Good for him. Good good lock-ons there. Right on my heads. And then my team just gets up. When these... Another thing that's bad about these... The way that these snipers can lock areas down is it makes your team just a giant pussy. Like, they just don't want to keep playing. And then they just start sitting back and trying to counter snipe, and it just turns into this fucking stupid standoff. And whoever has B, when the standoff begins, wins the game. Like, I can't... Okay. Alright. Yeah, uh, one of the th comments that keeps coming back to my mind when I play this game is in Modern Warfare... Most of the time, it felt either like I got beat by a weapon, like, uh, wow, really? Like the person who killed me had a better weapon for the job than I did, or one of the one-hit kill weapons, which was frustrating. There was a lot of one-hit kill weapons in Modern Warfare that frustrated me. Or it felt like I got outplayed. Like, it, it felt very much like better players could win in Modern Warfare. In this game, I feel like I'm getting beat by the gameplay mechanics most of the time. Like when I watch kill cams, it doesn't feel like, oh yeah, that guy outplayed me. Or oh yeah, he had a better he had a better weapon for that situation. Like look, that was up left of the head. That wasn't even on target. And just instant kill. We'll watch another one. Just quick scope. That was lower chest. What's up, bro? 
Hey, morning. You're up. Afternoon again, but still. Up. How's it going? Hug. Yeah, hug. I got it. Hi. <laughs> Love you. Yeah. What are you doing? Hey, do me a favor. Change your freaking clothes, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. There's, uh... There's that good amount of fun. And that, that even came out to be 135. So you know what? Let's do let's do Unamas. Just because, you know, why not? What is what I hate when it I don't like the way that they've done. Oh god, no. Oh no. Um, ah, no. Oh god. Seriously, kill yourself. Kill yourself. <laughs> huh? Uh, yeah, like, it, in Modern Warfare, it was like, if you had a weapon equipped that had an unlock for it, then it would pop up. What is, what are you, what are you trying to tell me? Something happened for a tactical rifle that I have equipped on none of my classes, apparently. I don't know. Oh, no, nuke, no, nuke town, really? Okay, well, this... Just doesn't seem like it's going to be a fair example of why domination sucks in Cold War. But. What, Seb? What? I am? I knew it, because you said Newtown. That's right. Can you play that last Huh? Can you play that last Sure. Domination. All right, so be, uh, we're going to get one of those. Getting getting to be... What? Did that get caught in the rafters? Are you fucking serious? Yeah, that's another thing that I really don't like about Cold War is... For whatever reason, they somehow they messed up the mechanics of how you throw stun grenades and flash grenades. They fly at 4,000 miles an hour. Okay, I don't know. I didn't win that fight. And they bounce at Mach 3 off the wall. I have literally thrown a stun grenade halfway across the map, had it bounce across a wall, and then stun me through a wall. And not just once. It happens a lot. What? 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 Let's see this. Again, didn't feel like he had the better weapon for the job. Felt like, felt like the game beat me. Good God. Really? How'd it? Let's see that. Let's see what it, how'd he got me. Just because a thousand rounds per minute, I guess. Yeah. I heard someone say today that he thinks Cold War is one of the worst Call of Duties. I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that. But coming right after Modern Warfare, which I believe is the best Call of Duty by by a considerable margin, which is saying something. Like, it is just a really, really harsh uh, comparison coming off of Modern Warfare onto Cold War. Oh, that's an enemy. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Didn't realize it spawned me, just looking at the back of an enemy. Good, good God. All right, come on guys, don't make me a liar. You gotta at least capture the point that we're near, huh? Gotta push to B. You guys gotta actually get on B if you want to push it. Good God. Good God. Flak jacket was not enough to protect me from all of the explosives. Good God. Also seems like the flash and sun grenades take an inordinately large amount of time to go off in this game versus Modern Warfare. Where? Huh? Alright. Not the best place to put my trophy systems, but considering we can't push across the street, I'm 
And ideally, I would put it on B. Oh good, it was a knifer again. That is not a systemic issue, but god, it is irritating. What? Okay. Okay. I... I mean, I guess... I guess, okay. I mean, I didn't exactly get good shots on that guy, but... Good lord. What a fucking cluster. Wow, that... Bounce. It feels like it feels like the throw animations on this are way off. Like I throw stun grenades and equipment into walls in ways that I never did in Modern Warfare, and it happens all the time. It's like I throw, I press the button to throw the stun when I'm around a wall, and it does the animation to throw it, and then I step behind the wall, and then the animation actually causes the grenade to throw, and then it bounces off the wall in front of my face all the time, all of the time. All right, so let's do, 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 do. All right, so we're gonna push B. That's what we gotta do. It is the only option. How the fuck? How the fuck is that guy not dead? How the fuck is that guy not dead? Get that shit up. Get it. Good god. I saw him creeping around and I couldn't quite get it get it turned in time. Where'd you strafe off to you? Alright, okay. Alright. Alright, right. double teamed? What are you gonna do? You get double teamed? Was that a tomahawk? Seriously? Alright, fine. That didn't register half of those. Hey, Captain Knife Pants. You gonna jump up there? Oh! Good god- ah, good god. Got caught up on the open there trying to figure out where everyone was coming from. Ah, that's not gonna get that jammer. You up there, dude? Stick your fucking head out. This is one of my favorite places to defend me on this map. It's, I mean, yeah, it's a corner, but it's also got, like, the best line of sight on the map that's a defendable position for B. You gotta be able to shoot straight. And again, just like in free-for-all, once you kill a few people, move, because they will come looking for you. Keep your, keep your tomahawk, bro. See, they're coming for me. God, see that? See what I'm talking about? Did you see that? Did you see that fucking stun grenade? Redonkulous. Merka. Oh, I should not have won that fight. That guy just must have... His aim must have gone to shit. Alright, now they're gonna... Coming back here pre-aiming my position. They know... They know where I be. Oh, that guy was on the other side of the fence. That's funny. Ooh, that was a napalm and a half. Well played, sir. 
Uh, all right. Not entirely certain I lost that fight, but oh, that's a friendly. Okay. Artillery targeting detected. Oh god, that's an enemy. He was just standing on that. Alright. Wow. That did not go well. That did not go well at all. Alright. Gotta move back. Whew. Not the best shots in the world. Got it done. Ooh. Did he like shoot it out of the air while it was falling? Felt like I at least got my trophy in there. Uh, okay, let's see this. Nope. <laughs> I wonder if he has that flinch resistance attachment on because he did not flinch. Where you go, bro? God, that took so many bullets. Oh, fucking cross map. Jesus. Come on now. This started out going so well, and it has gone to shit. Come on, guys. Get out of here. Oh, God, they are locked in. Guys, get out. Throw grenades. Do something. Wow, I don't know how I won that one. Hey, I didn't flinch either. So it's not the flinch attachment. It's just that there's not much flinch when you're getting murdered in the face. Where are you at? Where you at? Come on. You're going back to the Jeep. I know it. That's not even the guy I was originally shooting at. Alright. Actually, protect! Protect it. Alright, let's get out there, ladies! Ladies, hey, lady! Oh, my God. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. So these are... I definitely end up playing against a lot of keyboard and mouse players. Just because of the way that they can flick. That's... You can't do that with a controller. I'm not necessarily saying it's an advantage one way or the other. You've got to play differently to do that, but... Is different. All right, how do we do? Seven objective kills, four captures, forty-seven eliminations, thirty-one deaths. I mean, it's nuke town. It's nuke town. So what are you gonna do? Well, so that's kind of. I don't even have my camera on here. It's kind of the state of domination in Cold War, and I gotta be honest, I don't really like it. <laughs> I've been. Of all the game modes that I've played in Cold War so far, Free For All is is the most enjoyable just because of all the shit in the game, I think. And even that is like not great because I just, in general, I'm not a huge fan of Free For All. So it makes me not want to come back to Cold War very much. So I'm going to keep playing around with it, see what I can do. But yeah, I don't really recommend Domination, which is sad. Later, minions.